All right, so first thing is first, you're gonna wanna brush out your hair, make sure there's not any knots so that when you brush it back, it can lay down as flat as possible. Second, I am taking water in a spray bottle to help it lay even flatter and then brushing that back. Now I'm gonna be using my Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray and I'm going in and making sure that everything is pretty much hairsprayed down and can lay absolutely as flat as it possibly can. And yes, I know I have a gigantic bruise on the inside of my arm that you guys just saw. I got on the Nexplanon birth control where they have to put the implant into your arm and it left me an absolutely gnarly, gnarly bruise. I have now put my hair into a ponytail and then I braided the end of it. Now I am prepping my skin to get rid of any oils or the moisturizer that I'm wearing with my Glam Glow Super Toner and a cotton pad and just removing anything that might be on my face. Now to apply the bald cap. Today we are using Moran's Latex Bald Cap. Thank you to Moran for always supporting me and everything that I do. Most of the products, or actually almost all of them in today's video, are from Moran and were gifted to me by them. So first I am just fitting it over my head and stretching it out so that it lays as flat as possible with as few wrinkles as possible. Now we need to cut the ear holes. You want to start from the very corner and work your way up at an angle towards the center of your ear. Obviously you want to be careful when you're doing this. You also want to make sure that you're cutting it just enough to fit over your ear. I put it over my ear and there was a little bit too many wrinkles when it laid flat. So then I put it back over and cut a little bit more until it fit better. You want to cut small amounts and then do bigger because if you cut too much, bald cap's done you can't do anything about it. The same situation for exactly what I'm doing right here. Most people would cut their ball caps a little bit higher up than this, but because of the look that I filmed after doing this, I knew that this would all be covered, so I kept it a little bit lower just to play it safe. Now to attach the ball cap so that it stays in place, I'm using Moran's Spirit Gum. You are going to use a little brush that the bottle comes with and place the spirit gum around everywhere that you want your bald cap to adhere to. A little bit goes a long way and you can use a little bit less than I am using here. Once you have that, you check to make sure it is tacky. It takes probably about 30 seconds to a minute and then you will then pull and lay down your bald cap so that it is flat and tight. I recommend doing what I'm doing here where you start with the top and then you slowly make your way down to each side. You don't want to put down everything together because then it's probably not going to sit right. You want to work in sections. getting there starting to look like we're bald so now that we have the bald cap on we're gonna start moving on to the actual coloring of the bald cap but first I want to mention the Spencer's shirt of the day 
No, this is not sponsored. They just support everything that I do. They are constantly giving me work, constantly sending me products. They support me, so I wanna support them. This is one of the shirts they recently sent me and I absolutely love it. Activities for children, let's summon demons. I will put the link to this shirt down below if you wanna purchase it from Spencer's. So now before I move on, I don't want to destroy this shirt. I'm gonna go put on my yellow Teletubby shirt and I will be right back. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer to start to cover the bald cap. Now the reason you guys are seeing yellow on the bald cap already and the reason I am wearing a yellow shirt is because I was going to include the bald cap part into the Teletubbies video. But then I realized it really is a separate thing and I would like to make a video on purely how to apply just a bald cap. I also realized that instantly coloring my bald cap straight with the yellow was not working. I had to first set it with all my foundations and all my skin tone colors and then go on to do my actual coloring. So here I am going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and going back and forth between the Moran blender as well as my Morphe foundation brush. Once I was happy with the coloring, I went back in with my Moran color set powder and just set all of the concealer and foundation. One thing I realized is applying the concealer with the blender really did not work because the bald cap really just sucks up color and just hardens it almost immediately. So I realized that I needed to blend it in with the brush, which is why I switched to that and foundation. So that is it for this video. Mind you, this was my very, very first time ever putting on a bald cap. There was no trial before this. This is point blank first time I've ever done it. So if I can do it, you guys can do it too.